Today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Iron Man 2 movie series Weapon Assault Drone Action Figure Set. This uh, figure set just came out at the end of the summer of 2010 and I have to thank uh, fellow YouTuber Hung17688, hang loose there. He motivated me to actually go ahead and find these uh, figures. I was watching one of his uh, uh, videos on the air assault drone and uh, I was lamenting the uh, fact that I couldn't find any of the drones anywhere and uh, after watching his videos I actually decided to go on a toy hunt to find these uh, figures instead of shooting videos um, and I actually found uh, a couple of them I found uh, here the weapon assault drone and the air assault drone but uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, weapon assault drone here and I found uh, this figure set at a Walmart. Uh, they were selling the Iron Man 2 figures for $6.96, so basically 7 bucks. And uh, taking a look at the uh, figure here in the package, you can see that uh, it comes with the standard uh, overlay cards, uh, display base back there. And it comes with a few accessories, uh, extra head, a uh, looks like a pair of whips on there it's kind of neat and uh, of course you have the coupon here for five dollars off your next Iron Man toy taking a look at the back of the package here you can see uh, a description here of the weapon assault drone and I'm trying to remember from the movie uh, if this is the one uh, that was associated with the Marine Corps uh, when the drones were introduced at the uh, I think it was the expo and uh, you can see here it's got uh, posable shield panels and detachable uh, saw blades which is kind of cool and uh, you have uh, other figures here uh, in the line you have the fusion armor Iron Man the air assault drone and the ultimate armor uh, Iron Man oh and uh, I forgot to mention that uh, this particular uh, figure is number 16 so Let's go ahead and uh, open this uh, figure out of the package, and we'll be right back. Okay, we have the weapon assault drone out of the package, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the items that came uh, with this figure set. And uh, first up, we have here a, a small just catalog of um, Iron Man 2 items there. It's pretty neat and uh, also on the other side as well and you also have this uh, five dollar coupon for your next uh, Iron Man purchase of twenty dollars or more and it can't be online it has to be through a retail store and it's kind of neat and uh, next up we'll take a look at the overlay cards uh, which come with all of the single carded uh, figures Iron Man 2 figures and yet you have the two clear um, overlays and a solid card uh, for the back and uh, yeah. pretty much uh, just overlay them and you have the schematics for the uh, weapon assault drone next up we have the display base here it's got a single peg uh, for you to place the foot of the figure on and also groove slots where you can uh, put the overlay cards on to, to do like a dis, like a schematic display of the uh, of the weapon assault drone kinda neat next up uh, we'll take a look at the accessories that come with uh, this uh, weapon assault drone first up we have the alternate head here and I'm trying to remember I think this is the original uh, hammer drone head on there before uh, Ivan Vanko replaces it uh, with his own version on there. It's kind of neat that they included this uh, head on there. Some of the detail on there. It's kind of neat. And uh, also, um, he comes with a pair of uh, weapons. Uh, one set is uh, the whips. And uh, you can attach him to the forearm through this tab here on there and uh, some detail on this particular whip this is made of a soft uh, plastic here 
and there's even some details in between these spikes of uh, some grooves I don't I don't know if they'll pick it up in the video or not Let's see if I can get that on the video you can see the nice detail they added onto the the whip here and then uh, you also have a saw blade on here which is kind of neat and this is a uh, bendable soft rubbery plastic on there so if it gets too bent out of shape I don't worry too much about it since it's really flexible and taking a look at the uh, weapon assault drone it's kind of neat very cool and here's where the weapon attaches right there on the forearm and like I said it's just tabbed in through there it's kind of cool and uh, for the uh, saw blade there you can uh, just pull that out there it's kind of neat and there's the hole but taking a look at the uh, weapon assault drone, it's actually quite nice. So it's very detailed, uh, lots of sculpted detail on there. And take a look at it. And uh, lots of armor detail. Uh, looks like I got a bit of a uh, paint slop there on the arm. That's not too bad. And this one's uh, painted a uh, lime metallic green on here. Uh, it doesn't show much of it. It looks almost bronze on the video screen I'm looking through. And also the it's not solid paint. Uh, you could see some uh, splashes of silver, or um, I'm not sure if it's splashes or mist paint, or if it's uh, a battle worn look. I really can't tell the difference, whether it's sloppy painting or just a weathered effect on there. But uh, you can see some of it here and on the arm. Or it doesn't look like it's fully painted or it's to simulate scratches on the armor on there. But just look at the details on the sculpt. It's very nice. You got lots of details here. Especially on the torso area. It's very, very cool on there. And uh, here's the head, the main head. And it, if you get a good grip, you can just pop it off and there's the ball joint. You can put the alternate head there. I think that's the original hammer drone head on there. It's kind of cool that they included that. It's kind of neat. Let me pull that off and put this guy's head back on there. Pretty neat. And the antenna here is just soft plastic there. And uh, this uh, drone has these uh, movable uh, flaps. I'm not sure what they're for. I don't remember seeing this in the movie. Uh, they go all the way back on there very very nice overall I just don't know what these flaps are for <laughs> so but it's very very cool I really like uh, this uh, drone lots of detail there's more in the back there but uh, going over the articulation uh, the head is on a ball joint and can go all the way around uh, up and down a little bit there the arms can go all the way around and they do go out and in uh, but not very much uh, because of the shoulder armor there. Uh, the elbows do bend on here. That's about it. And the hands are glued on. or I think they're glued on. I don't think they're part of the skull. Uh, and they don't articulate at all on the hands. They're pre-posed and they, like I said they don't move. Uh, the torso, uh, you can see it can go side to side, uh, up and down a little bit, and can go all the way around. Uh, no waist articulation. The uh, legs are pretty interesting. They're on this ball hinge swivel joint. Um, here you can see the hinge joint there, so it can go up and down. And you can see the, um, the ball joint moving around here and uh, the leg also rotates at the ball joint as well uh, you just have to get that hinge in a certain position to be able to grab a hold of it to swivel on there so that's very interesting look how thick uh, that uh, leg is very neat uh, the uh, knees are double jointed on there although I'm not sure you really need a double joint on that knee because of the bulkiness of the leg on there uh, and the feet are on a hinge uh, swivel uh, joint so they go all the way around and bend up and down overall it's a very nice uh, 
drone. I, I, I'm glad that uh, Hasbro released the drones uh, for uh, purchase because I, th I thought there was a, they were kind of neat in the second movie. Uh, and I recommend picking these this up. It's very, very nice. Uh, this is my casual peek into the Iron Man 2 movie series uh, weapon assault drone or the marine drone. I don't know uh, what you call it. But, uh, but this is my casual peek. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.